Welcome to another edition of Dr. Gregor in the Kitchen. Today, we're going to be making groat nola, which arose out of my frustration of finding a healthy breakfast cereal. This is an SOS-free recipe with no added salt, oil, or sugar. It's hard to find in the grocery store. There's two, last time I checked, one's called Uncle Sam cereal, which is like toasted, flattened wheat berries and flax seeds. You know, you get a little box, it's super expensive. And then there's, a, there's some brands of muesli, which don't have any crap at it, but I always found muesli kind of mushy. mushy. I love the breakfast cereal from my youth, but just don't want all that added garbage. So how about grotenola? Groats, of course, starting out with whole intact grains, not just groats, although we're actually not using a grain today at all, but buckwheat groats. Buckwheat, despite its name, has nothing to do with wheat, not even a grain. It's a starchy seed of a non-grass plant family. Um, uh, uh, plant. So we are going to start by making some groats. These are just raw oat groats. We're going to cook a cup of them. If you have an instant pot, uh, one cup of, of buckwheat groats to a cup and a half of water, pressure cooked for five minutes. Fortunately, I have an instant pot here. So we're just going to cook it on the stove, but it only takes 10 minutes. All right, and then we are going to uh, nuke a sweet potato. Um, nice, big, juicy, round sweet potato. We are gonna microwave, it depends on your microwave, five minutes, 10 minutes, till it's nice and juicy and delicious inside. And we'll be right back. And while we wait, uh, 10 minutes is too much for burpees, so I'm sorry. No burpees this time. Uh, um, and we are back. Buckwheat is done. Throw that in a big mixing bowl. We have our sweet potato. Look at that beautiful color there. Don't burn yourself. And then you can use a potato masher or it's like a zigzag wire one. It's a little easier just to mash this together. The cooked buckwheat and the cooked sweet potato till it all kind of is nice and homogeneous. Okay, then we're gonna put a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice and a teaspoon of just plain cinnamon. Ooh, it's already smelling good. All right, then we're going to add 12 cups of rolled oats. If you like big chunks, you can add less of the rolled oats. And if you like it more like little crunchy bits, you can add more. Now, if you have dogs at home, what I would do is wait to put the spices in till the end. And so then you just have the three ingredients, the sweet potato, oats, and buckwheat, and you can roll them into little balls and all four of my dogs love them. Unfortunately, I don't have any of my dogs with me here. So I just added the spices early, which makes it a little more uh, evenly distributed throughout the mix. So you just want to mix this until it's down to little clumps. Now this is going to make about three cookie trays worth of grotenola. So I like making a whole big batch. So this is one sweet potatoes worth of uh, grotenola. Okay, so you can see it's kind of this kind of chunky texture like you might see with uh, regular granola. I'm gonna take a cookie tray and put about a third of it in there. And uh, basically you want kind of a single layer. Just kind of smoosh it down. That's pretty good. And then uh, put it in the oven and add a low temperature, 250 degrees Fahrenheit for two and a half hours. If you have a convection setting, uh, get some air circulating, that's even better, but um, optional. Let me put that in and I have a tray that's already done. All right, here's the finished batch. As you can see, it's all light, crispy, medium chunky. It has the sweetness from the sweet potato, has the intact groats from the buckwheat, oat goodness, and then um, do whatever you want to do. In terms of uh, granola, you can put it on a smoothie bowl, uh, sprinkle it on some uh, you know, frozen banana soft serve ice cream that you make in a blender or something. I just treat it like regular breakfast cereal. So I have a uh, grotenola base with some berries, some pumpkin seeds, some walnuts, and then uh, some cocoa powder, just because I like everything chocolatey. Put some unsweetened soy milk on there, and you are good to go. And this, you'll have weeks of uh, grotenola to enjoy. 
Would you like some recipes? Go to the nutritionfacts.org recipe page where you will find recipes where not just every recipe is health promoting, but every ingredient of every recipe is health promoting. A green light food, a whole plant food. So wait a second, how do you make stuff sweet without sugar? How do you make stuff salty without salt? Those are some of the challenges that we took on to bring you healthy recipes at the nutritionfacts.org recipe page. Sweet potatoes are one of my favorite go-to travel snacks. You will see me on airplanes whipping out my uh, whipping out my microwave sweet potato. They make perfect hand warmers. When I went to medical school in in uh, in, in Chile, Boston during the winter, microwave two sweet potatoes in the morning, put them in my jacket pockets, keep my hands nice and warm, and then perfect healthy snack for later on. Yeah, I love sweet potatoes.